Well, this week, very different than last week. Mm. It was super active. We had stuff coming oh, yeah. through every couple days yeah. last week. A little break. Yeah, we're going to break. Yeah, we're okay. put things on hold. It's a sunny start to the week. We will take that. You will notice a breeze this week kicking up, and as that wind shifts from the northwest to the north, can generate some ocean effect showers of both rain and snow through the middle of the week. But our next real significant storm chance, that's going to hold off until the upcoming weekend. That timing's not very nice, right? It looks like later Saturday into Sunday, something could be brewing. Our computer models have been signaling it, but it's going to be energy that is just kind of coming into the west coast the next couple of days that works across the country. So we have got some time to watch that one for sure. Right now the skies are mainly clear, so that's why we've got a nice sunny start here to the week. Temperatures down into the 30s, so even with the clear skies, we didn't drop too much overnight, and that is because of the wind. So the wind is making it feel like it's in the 20s this morning, so that is what you want to dress for. And you can see how we do have gusts up over 20 miles per hour right now. The wind is going to stay active today. We've got a storm spinning up toward Canada, and high pressure building in from the west. So in between is kind of squeezing out that northwesterly breeze. And it's not just with us today. You can see into the afternoon we're gusting up over 20 30 miles per hour. We'll fast forward till tomorrow. Stop the clock at tomorrow afternoon. Still dealing with some wind, but it's beginning to turn a little bit more northerly now, and that will be the case on Wednesday as well. And that northerly wind is going to help to generate some ocean effect showers here as we go through the middle of the week. But the breeze doesn't really die down till the end of the week on Friday. What it's going to do though, as this low pressure drops southward is shunt that moisture to our west to our south. So it's going to stay mainly dry. It's just the wind that may generate a few of these ocean effect snow showers the next couple of days. So today will be the sunniest I think of the next few. Lots of sunshine by noontime. We jump up to about 44 degrees and then there'll be a few clouds. High clouds generally mixing in with the sun this afternoon. But look at these temperatures making a run into the upper 40s to near 50 south of town. That is above average here for early March. Even out through the Worcester Hills lower 40s. National to Beverly about 44 degrees this afternoon, so it is a fairly mild one. Again, that wind will make it feel a little bit colder, but look at all the sunshine into the afternoon. There will be some clouds coming through tonight and those rain and snow showers pass through Connecticut, so we never get in on those overnight temperatures in the 20s tonight, so kind of chilly through the overnight. That wind too going to make it feel colder and tomorrow is a mostly cloudy day, so more clouds tomorrow. A few snow showers develop, but look at these temperatures in the 30s, not expecting any accumulation, but you can see how they drop south there with that northerly flow uh, hugging the coast in the afternoon and there'll be a few more of those as we get into Wednesday as well. So a few ocean effect snow showers. That's it till we get toward the end of the week. And here comes that energy from the west and look a secondary area of low pressure develops to our south. Very similar to what we saw last weekend, but it will come down to the track to see how much we can get out of this. But Saturday night could be a little bit of mixing before this pulls away and it may do so as rain on Sunday. So still a lot of question marks with that, but it's a ways out. But watching the weekend for some potential stormy weather and in between not a lot happening. Temperatures in the 40s this week will be in and out of the sunshine, but uh, this is the weekend coming up that we turn those clocks ahead one hour yes. as daylight saving time begins once again on Sunday. So don't forget so about that. So we lose an hour sleep. We do, but we're gaining that daylight. Yes. Which is